friends. Oh, I just noticed something. Good morning. Miss Julie's scarf has colors that are similar to my color. This yeah. is the cornerstone yeah. color. Our Special Olympics t-shirts are this color. Anyways, good morning, everybody. It's Miss Joanne, and you already said hi to Miss Julie. And I just remembered I didn't do the attendance yet. Oh, well. So, I hope everyone had a good night. And everybody's wide awake, because I'm not. Miss Joanne did not sleep well. So, if I'm not as enthusiastic as usual, take the good with the bad, I guess. Yeah. What is today? I'm down this end of the table kind of a little bit farther because Omari's working on an iPad right of animal farm sounds and you can probably hear them, I don't know, but I just heard the pig oinking and stuff. Yesterday was Monday, but it's not Monday anymore, so we'll do this, we'll go, goodbye Monday, we're on to a new and better day, and you know what? It is going to be a better day because it's going to be warmer out later today. Yay! We're going to have some warm weather. Not like hot warm, but not winter warm. Like reaching the 50, maybe a little into the 50s. Hey, that's like a heat wave. So yesterday was Monday. So let's find out what today is. Days of the week. 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 I'm the hyped up on coffee, except I don't drink coffee because I was just making a joke. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday. Oh yeah, Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So we said yesterday was Monday. And what does that make today? There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's t Oh, I started to say it. I said T. What letter starts with the T sound? Do you know which letter that is? Is it the W? Or is it the T? Because today's day starts with T. This says T. This says Tuesday. This says what? This is Wednesday. Oops, that was a little bit too much glare on there. Which one is T? Wednesday or Tuesday? If you said Tuesday, you would be correct. So today is Tuesday. But we need to know, find out what tomorrow is. So what's the day after Tuesday? The, the day after Tuesday. So, today's Tuesday, what does that make tomorrow? Tomorrow is the Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's... What comes after it? Does Wednesday come after Tuesday? Whoa, 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 Wednesday or does Sunday come after Tuesday? S -s 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 Sunday. There's Monday and there's Tuesday. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's... What? Wednesday, every letter makes a sound that W says what? It does, it says what? Wednesday. And it is sunny. And it's gonna be warm, that's the best part. Like, like I said, not really like super duper warm, but beat when it's we have a negative wind chill factor with the wind. So if today is Tuesday, what number date is it? Let's see. I'll get out of the way. Let's start at the beginning. Help me count because there's not too many up there. So you can count this high. You ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What comes after eight? Did any of you say it? 
in your head when you were counting along with me. Wait a minute. Two, yeah, eight, right? Yes, it was the eighth. Right? Yes. So now we want to know what... Did I already mention the date? I don't know. We want to know what day comes after the eighth. Would it be eight? Would it be nine? Or twelve? What comes after eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? Oh, I should have stopped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Which sounds right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. I don't know, that twelve sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? Like it's not quite right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That sounds better, don't you think? Yeah. I'll put nine up here. So today is Tuesday. We have it spelled out right here. I don't know if you can see. March. M-A-R-C-H. It is the month of March. I think of it as the longest month of the year. We never know what kind of weather we're going to get in March. We can still get we can still get crazy snowstorms and stuff. So sometimes March is a really cold month. Sometimes it's a little bit of both. But it's just a long month. Even, oh, it's the same length as most months. So it's Tuesday, March 9th, 2021 or 2021. That's today's date and everything. That's crazy, huh? It's crazy. And we're working on the letter G. G says, it makes two sounds. One, two. Can you think of what one of those sounds is from Mars working on it? Is one a g sound? If you said yes, then you'd be right because it'd be the g. Go. That's the hard sound. G. Let me put that up there. That starts with G. Now, I don't have a picture of the softer one to put on here, but I can tell you. How about giraffe, the ones with the big, long, tall necks? The animals at the zoo and stuff are out in the wild, but not here. Giraffe. Another hard G would be glasses. There you go. Okay, four glasses. Four. See? I always tell you mother and teachers have extra eyes. Glasses. Let's do another soft one. We did giraffe. Let's do ginger. Which is what sometimes people call people with red hair. They call them ginger. Or ginger is also a spice that's used a lot in Asian cooking. It's also good for um, if you have like upset stomach and not feeling quite right. There's ginger candy you can take. You can have some ginger ale. There's ginger tea. There's all different ways to take some ginger. Or, I mean, you can just cut thinly slice some real pieces of ginger and put, simmer them in water for a while. I wonder if there's a ginger essential oil. I don't know. G glue. Glue. When we make projects and have to make them stick together. Ginger. Let's see. Ginger. Giraffe. I know I thought of a different one. G -g -g -g. Girl's name Gina. G-I-N-A. But I thought, I know there was another. Whoops. Guitar. That's the hard G. Guitar. That's our letter. G. Ah, oh, G. I hope you have a great day. Ah. Told you, corny jokes. That's the data. I don't know. Something's crooked up there. Oh, I know another G. Gym or gymnasium. That's the soft sound. I knew it, it would 
bother me till I thought of it. And we are at the number eight. Help me count out the eight squares. We'll use the boxes, one in each box, and that's how we'll count up to eight. One blue square. Two. Three blue squares. Four. Five blue squares. Six. Seven. And finally, Mr. Eight. I don't know why I said Mr. It could be Miss or Mrs. Ms. Number eight. I just want to get my, oops, those aren't what I wanted. Where are they? Hmm. I don't know what I did with them, so I guess I'll have to move on to something different. Because they're not in here. Yes, I threw them inside this drawer. This is the catch-all drawer that everything goes inside of it. There they are. One of my alphabet cards. So we can do a little bit with the alphabet. Why don't you help me sing the song first? You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So let's do it with our actual pit letters. A, apple, B, b ball, C, cat, D, dog, E, elephant, F, fish, G, goat, I'm coming up with all animals, H, house or home or horse, I, I scream, ice cream, or igloo where the Native Americans that live the live way up in um, the colder weather, they build up in Alaska and there, they build little ice igloos to live in out of ice. J, J's for Joanne, Josiah, Jeremiah. J is also for, for jelly bean, jump. K, kangaroo. L, lion. M, Mickey Mouse. N, Nut or Nest. O, Octopus or Orange. P, a paddle for paddle your boat. Or, um, I had something right on the top, puzzle or picture. Q, queen, that's someone who runs a, the country. Queen, not our country, because we don't have kings and queens. R, rabbit. Rabbit. S, S is for silly. Ooh, or snake. Some of you eat salad. T. T is for toast. Sometimes you might have that in the morning. T is for tea. People drink tea, hot or cold. T. It's spelled T E A, it's just not the letter T. Tongue, what's in your mouth? I can't. There, yeah, I was kind of trying to stick it out, but you can't see it under the mask, anyways. U, umbrella that you use for the rain, umbrella. V, violin, it's an instrument. I always wanted to learn to play, but I'm not, I heard that's hard, and I took piano and couldn't do, have my hands do two separate things, so 
it's not in me, I don't think. Or violet, color of, like purple, or flowers are violets. Oops, two of them. W, a whale, wagon, X. X is hard because a lot of letters, don't, a lot of words don't start with X. They just um, use them as examples. But X-ray, they take a picture of your bones, a special picture. That starts with an X. And xylophone, it's long and has all the, um, it's like a piano keyboard, but you hit it with a little hammer thing, xylophone. Why? Yummy. Yak. That's a type of animal, a yak. Yellow. <gasps> the color yellow. And Z. Zebra. Zero. Remember when we count and we have nothing? It's zero. So right now we are on the letter G. Today... Miss Julie says, I don't want to be here when you read that. I don't like what that's about. And I don't either. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. We are going to read about, or read, The Very Busy Spider by Air Carl. Now, this is another one that's been adapted by the Sherlock Center, students that do it for the Sherlock Center. And by that, it means it may have left pages, but they've also written it with symbols. So you can kind of, those who can't actually read the words, they might be able to pick up the symbol. But you have to learn those symbols first. So the very busy cat, oh, caterpillar. I'm mixing it up with a very hungry caterpillar. That's his book as well. So in there, we're going to see the spider. It's a cute one. I don't like spiders, but we're going to see a horse. Nay. Well, that's what they say. I don't know. I'm not very good with animal songs right now. We are going to see a cow moo. And that's where the milk that we drink, that's where, the, well, where you drink, that's where it comes from. Unless you drink almond milk or something. Goat has two little horns. One, two, goat. We're also going to hear about, oh, that went too fast. We are going to hear about pig. So we're going to see the pig. The dog. A lot of times that's a house and pet. We had, I think we did cat earlier. That can be a house pet. Some people have baby pigs. No, thank you. Oh, I thought we had done cat already. There's the cat. Meow. Some of you have cats at, at pets at home. Sorry, I can't get these apart. We're going to hear about a duck. Quack, 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 duck. We're going to hear about another bird, a rooster. Cook. They scream that very early in the morning. Let everybody know, time to get up, it's morning. Even though it's probably dark out still. They have to get up early on farms and stuff. Fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. And we're back to Mr. Spider. So let's see what our story has to say. It's again, it's another small print one, so. Good luck to my eyes. Ready? Here we go. In the morning, the wind blew the spider to the farm. The spider spun a web. Can you see the web? It's very light lines. They make little patterns while they're making their web to try and catch bugs in them. Me 
nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? Oh, isn't that? He's asking the spider if he wants to go for a ride. That's very kind and what a good friend. The spider didn't answer. Oh, that's not nice. He should at least say no thank you. The spider was busy spinning the web. See, now it's darker. You can see it. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat grass? Because cows like to eat grass. Again, the spider didn't answer. The spider was busy spinning the web. Now it's getting bigger. He's not a very, he's very busy, but it doesn't mean he has to be rude, right? Ba ba said the sheep. Want to run in the grass? Oh, he wants him to run around and play. The spider didn't answer. What is wrong with the spider? What are we going to do? The spider was busy spinning the web. Maybe we can get him one of those remote so he can hit it and he can say, no, thank you. Have it pre-taped like we get from Miss Cindy. Here's an idea. So maybe he's not saying anything because he can't. I don't know. Oh, this is sad and the goat said, ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? Because goats like to climb around on rocks. <sighs> this spider. The spider didn't answer. Aren't you getting tired of that? I am. The spider was busy spinning the web. Now look how big it's getting. But he should still answer. Oink, oink, said the pig. Want to roll in the mud? Pigs like to roll in the mud. Now, I learned this from family. It was a cousin of my grandmother. They owned a dairy farm in a small town called Granby, Massachusetts, when I was growing up. And we would go see the cows, and they would have pigs and dogs and kittens and all that. And the farmer there told me that pigs, everyone thinks pigs are messy because they like to roll in the mud, but they do that for a purpose. They cover up their skin to help with bug bites or help cool themselves down, all that kind of stuff. So they're not really being just dirty little pigs like we think, but there's a purpose to them rolling in the mud. The spider didn't answer. The spider was busy spinning his web. That little spider did all that already. said the dog. Want to chase a cat? Oh, because dogs like to chase cats. Woof, woof. Oh, I'm getting so tired of the spider not answering. The spider didn't answer. The spider was busy spinning his web. Now he's going around to make these so no one can escape. That's one rude spider. Who do we have now? Who's that? Is that a dog or is that a cat? It says meow. Does that help you at all? Meow, meow, said the cat. Want a nap? Oh, because kitty cats like to nap, especially if they find a nice warm place in the sun. The spider didn't answer. The spider was busy spinning his web. It's getting big. Someday we will be at the end of this. Quack, quack, said the duck. Want to go swim or want to swim? Because the ducks love being in the water, swimming around because they eat fish and stuff. Plus, being out on the water like that protects them from dogs and other animals that might, you know, want to do it harm. The spider did not answer. 
the spider finished his web. Look how pretty that is. Said the rooster, want to catch a fly? And the spider caught the fly in his web. That's why he spins it so he can catch because it's sticky. So other little insects and stuff will fly into it and it's sticky so they get stuck there or walk on it. And um, then they, the spider's able to go over there and have lunch. Who, who, said the owl, who spun the web? He's saying, who spun that web? The spider didn't answer. The spider was sleeping. The day was busy. After taking all that time and doing all that work to spin this, to spin the web, the spider was tired. The end. I hope you liked our story. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to say goodbye now. Miss Julie's on her way over so she can say goodbye also. Bye, friends. See you tomorrow. Maybe we'll make her read tomorrow. Sure. We'll see. Bye. See you all later.